here with some big news about the Rovers. It's Jodie Prentice. Hello. 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 Good. Oh, good to see you. Think you loved that bit. Oh, I enjoyed that bit. Let me tell you. <laughs> That's what the Rovers is all about, and we need it. We need it back in our lives. Tell us, will the doors be opening the again? The doors will be opening again. Yay! Yay! Do you know, it's so sad, because obviously when you're not filming on it, I really, really, really missed it. Yeah. But it's had a refurb. Oh! oh Don't sound so excited. <laughs> <laughs> No, it, is, it looks beautiful. It looks really warmly, really homely, and um, yeah, we're all glad to be back. Oh, that's And brilliant. when is that moment then? When is it reopening? New Year's Eve. Oh. New Year's Eve. Oh. Yes. A great way to see it in. It's all happening. Are you loving it on the cobbles? Yeah. Really? I, I, I you don't really... have to sing every day. I don't have to sing every day. I can go out and have a glass of wine. Um, I, no, I really love it. And we were filming in the Rovers, obviously, because everything's pre-filmed six weeks. And we were filming about two weeks ago and I still got that jittery tummy when I thought I'm in the back of the Rovers. It's lovely. I well, know. it's such an iconic space, isn't it? And you've, so and you've had such a journey. Yeah. Like it's, and it's a really unusual one to you come... You can't say I've been around. <laughs> <laughs> you're right, you're right. You, you said you're right. it great, but what a career, like, to come... Yeah. Like, from 2008 to... from I Can Do Anything and then yeah. moving on to where you have now. Yeah. What was that journey like? Because it's quite unusual to come that way round into... It's, into do you know, one of, one of the first jobs I ever had was actually in a workingman's club in Manchester. Wow. And I remember getting in there and I remember looking out to the audience and I went, does anybody like musicals? And they all went, no! <laughs> this is! It was great to be Argentina, but there was that determination and that love, just yeah. that love of what I do. I mean, and, I'm, you know, I'm still going and it is, I always say to anyone who thinks of giving up in the biz, just keep going. Mm -hmm. You never know what's going to happen. <laughs> Oh, I, always, you know, I, I always get lipstick on my teeth. I know, yeah, I thought I'd I'm tell known you. for it. <laughs> anyway, you got inspiration from your grandparents, didn't oh, you? I don't, my, my nan was the ringer of Elsie Tanner. Oh, was she? And you know, we had uh, hotels in Blackpool, my mum and my dad, and my nan and my granddad. And I can see my nan behind that bar just kind of getting everyone going. So the scenes I've had with Glenda, <laughs> Glenda, don't talk about yourself in a third person, they're just great because they just take me right back to with. You know, when I've had times with my nan at the hotel yeah. in Blackpool. I, I tell you, it though, does. It really does. What I think is really interesting. I, usually, people who start off as a singer and, of course, continue to be a singer. Yeah. But I read somewhere that you don't like to sing anymore. They don't like me singing there. Why? <laughs> they just don't like me. <laughs> 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 it's funny because Glenda always goes to sing and she never gets given the opportunity. She tries to sing at weddings uh, and yeah. all the do's and they just tell her to shut up. <laughs> <laughs> But, like but in your own really. life, do you do weddings and things? And oh, I've done them all. Have I've you? Done, <laughs> I've done them all. I've done strange way prisons. <laughs> I've done like, oh, I've got changed in a cell and everything. No, I've done it. I think I think that makes you really appreciate when you've got it, you've got it. So yeah, I do appreciate yeah. what I do. So who would your dream landlady or man be at the Rovers? Oh. I would say Julie Goodyear, yeah, just to yeah, be in, yeah. a, in a scene with her. But I did briefly work with her, and she was everything I thought she would be, and mm. more. Just that ca mm. kind of classic. Yeah, yeah right, <laughs> Kat. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Loved it. She was great. Yeah, it's iconic. Um, we have to talk about your play, just, just aside from sort of singing and everything else that you're doing, Judy, but this is a real passion project of yours with a brilliant title, A Very, Very Bad Cinderella. <laughs> <laughs> but very let you go when you don't like it. You it's, it's yeah. a, it was, do you know, it was a massive nod just to two things I love. Panto, which everyone graphs so hard at this yeah. time of year, and then also kind of musical theatre. So it's, it's just fun. Yes, but you put this together. This isn't just, you know. I know. Is... It's a bit. It's a bit naughty. It's a bit naughty. It's don't very go... naughty. It's very naughty. Very lovely, I'm right. going. <laughs> oh, don't go and watch it. You'll never be friends with me ever again. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's no. It's great fun putting it together with a, a brilliant friend of mine, Neil Hurst, and we just laughed. And it's got a great cast and a director. And Paul Taylor Mills is brilliant at supporting. Um, it's based on Cinderella, but with a very naughty twist, really. Oh, a very a, yeah, yeah, a very. Very. Now tell me very, the, the truth. Very not when you were singing, um, whatever that song was that you sang and you oh, won we, the part. Oh, as long as he in, needs as me. As long as he needs yeah. me. That's do you want me to one. do it now? Yeah, yeah. go on. I want you to do it. Yeah. Yeah. It's not like Corey here. Oh, it's not like Corey. Like as long <laughs> as he needs me. Yeah. Right, that's enough. Yeah. 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 Very good. What I don't remember. 
the rest. Oh, you were right. <laughs> but I was going to say, though, having been right smart, having won that television competition, yeah. you got the job at Palladium, wasn't it? Uh, Drury Lane. Drury Lane. Drury Lane. Okay, well, even Round so, Drury Lane, lovely. Yeah. And then when you went to the coronation set, which obviously you'd grown up with, etc. Yeah. how did that honestly feel when now you're acting? It, well, what's quite nice is what people don't see. There still is that element of theatre, so you see all the sets being built and all that kind of in each and every studio. Mm -hmm. So it does feel like theatre, but there is, there is nothing in comparison to live theatre because you never know what's going to happen. No. Mm -hmm. And then there's nothing in comparison to TV because magic can happen on the first take. So they both have their... They're fun and yeah, thrill, yeah. shall we say. Mm -hmm. yeah. And it pays for my animals, so I'm more right. <laughs> <laughs> um, I tell you what, and talking about your animals, um, yeah, you've got a bit of a farm going on, I've really, got to don't stop you? It. Yeah. <laughs> five dogs. Oh yeah, five Which dogs, breeds? cats. I, I don't know what they are. They're oh. all rescued. <laughs> oh. And then rescue cows and ducks and chickens. And there's me. Oh, there's Timbo. Oh, oh, oh and that, yeah, oh. there they are looking over and the sunset. And you sunset. named one of them after Paul O'Grady, didn't you? I did, our Lily. Yeah, really? that was the latest rescue. Lily, and, oh, God, Jesus. <laughs> oh, she, oh, oh, don't oh. are her. She's a right <laughs> sassy one, her. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she'll sign. Do you know what she does in the morning? You're, you're, you're asleep and she'll get to you. And she just gets your, gets your hand and she slowly brings it towards her tummy. <laughs> and looks if they go, go on. <laughs> 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 no, she's brilliant. That's great. So we, um, we've got our Body Stories campaign and you were yeah. saying recently that you've really embraced your own body and feel more confident in your own skin as well. Do, do you know, it's a funny thing, like, over the years, I've always said, my weight's been up and down like a bride's nighty, and it's true. <laughs> do you know, if you, if you could all come to my house and I could fit you in every size clothes, do you know <laughs> what I mean? I've got them all. But it's that thing, we were talking about it, funny, funny enough, on set the other day, and we looked at photos that were from, like, the 70s and the 80s and going, your life goes by in a flash. Mm, yeah. It's just gone. It's true. And we spend half of it worrying and thinking, oh, I don't look good. And I look back on photos and I wish I, would thought, I, wish I was as fat as I thought I was then. <laughs> and I just think sometimes it's worth embracing it. You still worry about it, but mm. it's just not worth it at the end no, of the day, is yeah, it? No. Absolutely. No. I think this time of year, you see a lot of things online. I have loads of things popping up on my Instagram, what you know, you? reflective <laughs> kind of posts. Mm. And there's one brilliant one doing the rounds of this lady. I think she's about in her late 90s anyway. And she, the biggest thing she would say to her younger self is, stop stressing. Yeah. yeah. Stop stressing the small stuff, the big stuff, all of that. Just stop it, because mm. what difference does it make? And it's so, so true. It's being reflective yeah. sometimes at this yeah. time of year, particularly makes you really take Stalk. Yeah. I always remember my mum, we've had an old folks home for about, gosh, 30 odd years. And there was this lady called Mary, I think she was 105. And she had all her own teeth, never needed her glasses or anything <laughs> like that. And my mum went to her, she said, have you done so long and lived so well? She went, I've never had sex and I've never taken a tablet. <laughs> 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 We're all doomed! We're all doomed! <laughs> We're all doomed. <laughs> We'll all go down together. Brilliant. You, know, <laughs> you are well. great. We, um, I'm s love seeing you in Coronation Thank Street. You. You're so brilliant. Coronation Street is on New Year's Eve on ITV1 and ITVX, of course. And a very, very bad Cinderella. It's running until the 7th of Seven. January. Yes, isn't it, it? Is, it is. At the other uh, Palace Theatre in London. Yes, for a very naughty evening. You know where to go. Ladies and gentlemen, Jodie Prentice. <laughs>